Hey everybody, Eric Zimmerman, Adams Cameron and Company Realtors, Team Zimmerman. I am on East Bay Shore today and we're gonna work on a new recipe, uh, Bay Shore Crab Cakes. Uh, working with a special guest, uh, Bill with Jacked Up Fishing. He's got a YouTube channel, does a lot of catch, clean, and cooks. And uh, he's gonna be assisting me today in our recipe. And uh, maybe talk a little bit about the area, uh, the neighborhood, and some of the waterways here local. Uh, really quick, I guess I'll run through the ingredients and then we'll get to work. Yeah. Uh, of course, main ingredient, jumbo lump. I like to use as much crab meat as we can. I don't use a lot of bread in my crab cakes. Um, I basically separate the ingredients into two groups, two bowls, if you will. I do some Dijon mustard, a little bit of Tabasco, Worcestershire, um, mayo, and then of course our seasonings, Old Bay, salt and pepper, um, and some egg. And then in the dry bowl, I do a little bit of bread, um, peppers, onions, parsley, and uh, of course some fresh lemon. So we're gonna get prepping, and in the meantime, I guess, Bill, tell us, just redo this kitchen, looks awesome. Well, thank you, thank you. Uh, this was a big remodel we had here. We uh, came in, took out the garage of the main house. I have a mother-in-law suite with a three-car garage on their side, so didn't really need this garage, more of a storage area, but we turned it into a big, big elaborate kitchen with a big island, lots of cool granite. Actually, it's not granite, it's um, quartzite, right? Quartzite, yeah, yeah, it's called quartzite. Um, and we uh, ordered it in from Orlando. There's a bunch of selection in Orlando, a bunch of uh, different outlets that you can go and shop out your granite. And we like the colors of this one because it kind of looks like the Bahamas, the Bahamas water. And uh, we accented it with some copper. Came out really, really good. And uh, yeah, beautiful. We, um, we're stoked. Uh, stoked as I am about these crab cakes. <laughs> so right here, the house that we're in now is on a little canal. Uh, and as some of you may know, Rebecca and I have a property here on the same street too. And uh, unfortunately with uh, the hurricane here, we took a little water in on the property. I know you fared okay. I did okay, thankfully, thankfully. I know you and a couple of our other neighbors got some water in their houses. I got some uh, good clips I can share with you guys as well. And uh, you can see what we went through during the hurricane, but it's nothing compared to Fort Myers down south. They really got the brunt of it. And we're thankful for just a little bit of flooding. Nobody got hurt, so that's awesome. Yeah, I agree. And uh, the nice thing though about the community, we have a Nice restaurant here right on Rose Bay, Hidden Treasure, which is really cool. Uh, a lot of music, and, yeah. and I'd like to have you maybe share with them a little bit about the waterway, Bill, and, and maybe the fishing and, and, you know. Well, we live on Rose Bay, actually. That's a canal off of Rose Bay. It actually leads out to the intercoastal waterway, and um, we can actually go to the inlet. It's about a 10 minute ride to the inlet, Ponce Inlet. And that's a, it's a really good area to be in. Uh, Harbor Oaks, it's actually called. And uh, we actually live right on the canal, like I said. But right around the corner is Hidden Treasure Restaurant. They've come in. Uh, we actually crossed the, across the bridge from them is King's Seafood now. They've actually came in and opened up a, a fresh seafood market. And um, really cool little area. Um, not a lot of people know about it, so it makes it really unique. Yeah, it's a, it's a great little area, I think. And Cool thing about the community, I think like everybody knows everybody kind of neighborhood, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, which I really enjoy. Like that big? Beautiful. Actually. You want it like in the middle, like this way too? Maybe like in thirds of that, and three. Thirds? Yeah, maybe cut those into thirds, yeah. Cool. All right, you got that. All right, so we're gonna add the sauteed peppers and onions into the brioche bread, kind of let it cool down. Ooh. The fresh smell is unreal. And I'm gonna add a couple eggs here to the wet ingredients. Just gonna help obviously bind it. I guess the next step, Bill, if you don't mind, we're gonna add the we're gonna fold the lump in there. You just wanna be careful not to try to break it up too much. You will do. Keep them in nice big pieces. And obviously, if you don't wanna spend the money on the jumbo lump, you can certainly, you know, get the uh, 
what do they call it? The, yeah, uh, just regular lump. Regular lump, or I think there's even like a, a, a nice like picked meat in it. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, just as good too. Yeah. <laughs> you ready to combine forces? We are, we are. Let's do it. We're gonna add some of this in here and I'm gonna hold a little bit back. Do a little folding. Yeah. And uh, we'll see. We may not need all of it. Well, you know, that's pretty good, right? That was, that was pretty nice. Everything's, yeah, everything's coated. Uh, all right, I'm just forming it up here. I got, I have panko breadcrumb. Uh, some people are also doing as Japanese breadcrumb, but they're, it's a really dry breadcrumb. They're unseasoned. But the cool thing about them, they, uh, they fry up to a really nice crisp crust. Ah. All right, here we go. Looks like our, bring some in. Yeah, looks like our oil. Oh yeah, our oil's at temperature. Yeah, bring it down a little bit. You know what? And I like to just. Basically, get a little crispy fry on them and then throw them on a pan and put them in the oven to finish. All right, guys, this is the finished product. Nice big crab cake. Obviously, we can put this on a bun, maybe some lettuce and tomato and some uh, you like an aioli, you can have a sandwich, make them smaller. You got an appetizer or an hors d'oeuvre that you can serve. Um, serve this with a little bit of jalapeno pepper jelly to put on top. I think you can try it, it would be great. You're gonna love this recipe. And I wanted to thank Bill for having us at the house. The kitchen thank looks you, great. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I'm just ready to get up into this crab cake right now. <laughs> appreciate it, everybody. And uh, appreciate Eric having me checking out my house and uh, my kitchen. Until so next time, guys. All right, have a good one. Let's eat.